marquees like Eddie Bravo. We've got every single media person in attendance is literally crowded around this mat, waiting to see what happens. Nick Rodriguez, believe it or not, this man only really invested in his grappling career around about a year ago. Yeah. Came in to J. Ragobudo's Academy in South Jersey and a former wrestler, a D3 wrestler, no less. Yeah. Nothing even particularly special as a, as a wrestler in his career. But came in and he's like, I want to be a grappler. And man, what amazing work they did with this guy. After only about four months of training, he went into the ADCC trials on the East Coast, had a great performance, but then came back a couple months later to win the West Coast trials. His evolution in that time frame has been phenomenal. Training, mixing up his training, training with Jay in South Jersey, also training at the main Henzo Gracie Academy in New York, looking uh, alongside John Danaher, Gordon Ryan, and all those guys. But this is a real test now. He's been busy this year, but the real test is going up against a seasoned black belt, a world champion, no less, such as Muhammad Ali. Yeah, and I, I think, to be honest, if the, this could be the worst matchup for him of the entire bracket, to be really honest, to be frank. Muhammad Ali has exceptional uh, takedowns, judo-based, uh, defensive wrestling, So, uh, and he's also, uh, of course, quite talented at jiu-jitsu, and he's very physical. They said he weighed in at 260. 260. This uh, is the biggest so, Muhammad I think we've ever yes. seen. He competed at the last ADCC two years ago in the under 99 kilogram division. That's around about 218. And here now, I mean, this is this is a slow start right now. But there's an arm drag from Nick Rodriguez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> swinging around, the, Muhammad the, going out of bounds. The, these are the. Type if they of come near me, Sean, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> diving behind you. Okay, I'm saying it now. It's not the, I'll be smashed for sure. The, the, you know, they, these are the type of takedowns that Nick needs to focus on. Things that are going to get him out of the angle. If he gets in on the single and comes up to the waist, we're going to see Muhammad Ali look to throw him. So he's got to be very careful. If you get a single, he's got to finish quickly. Otherwise, arm drags very, very good idea to keep him out to the side. Heavy quality ties here as well, yeah. Sean. Right? Look at that. They're yeah. exchanging those clubbing blows to the back yeah. of the head, and and it, you know, this wears you down. Uh, ADCC long ago in history, there was a there was an unknown wrestler. I believe it might have been 2003, um, named Otto Olson, who just literally just wore out our world champion and Daniel Marias with a double collar tie like that literally just completely spin him and, and beat him uh, you know so getting on the head like this double collar tie it wears your back out if you're not used to carrying somebody on the head on their neck like that can really make a difference over time so one thing as well here i think that we should make a note of is that muhammad is um he is something of a slow starter yeah it, 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 he, it can take him a little while to get into a match i'm not sure whether it's a physical or a mental thing but in this case we're seeing nick Pushing the pace a little bit here. Yeah. He's the one that's um, that going after Muhammad as Muhammad's like looking away, looking, walking away to reset. Yeah. But Muhammad going forward now. Yeah. Ali, of course, with the rash guard on, the blue ankle bands. Yeah. I I, li I like Nick's strategy here. The double collar ties, trying to wear the back, the lower back out. Stand up, Muhammad Ali. Maybe a little ac easier access. But again, if he gets him on the single, you're going to have to watch out for the Uchimatas, the Haraya Goshis, the things that, that Muhammad Ali has in his arsenal that typical wrestling does not have in their arsenal. So he's going to have to be well poised for that defensive strategy if he gets on a leg, Nick is. So save for that arm drag attempt that had Muhammad that's scooting out of bounds. Yet to see any significant takedown attempts here. I, I think Muhammad, uh, sorry, I think Sean, there's a, an element of mutual respect here. Yeah. Neither guy is really willing to pull the trigger right now. However, points have just been called. Yep. So now that changes things. Yep. You can see a collar tie with a level change there. You're, gonna, you're probably going to see it. If he's going to use that as a setup, there's going to, he's going to take a shot off that collar tie. Muhammad Ali really didn't change his level much. 
we'll and we see. know that Nick likes the blast double. Yeah, he yeah. likes to just run through his guys. We know that Muhammad much prefers his judo style takedowns, yeah. the uh, the tie ups, with the throws, and the and the foot sweeps as well. We've seen him use those great effects. There's another snap down. He got to, he gets around to the back now. There's he got the inside beautiful inside trip. And there oh, we go. straight wow. on top of the photographers. Oh my. Right. Oh my. That is over 500 pounds. <laughs> oh no. Of men right there landing on top of photographers. I hope everybody's okay, but oh my word. Yeah, I hope so. And but th there you saw the counter. Well, and Nick Rodriguez there diving on Muhammad because he thought that the action had been yeah. restarted. Yeah. Muhammad, like, what the hell? But, but yeah. But there you saw the counter wrestling that that judo can bring. That beautiful Uchigari got in, countered that body lock with an Uchigari, and it was something else. But then Nick, you saw the speed of which he goes from half. Came out to the half guard, came right around the back. All right, here we go, that, restart. That, that's why everyone's on this mat right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's another really nice snap down. A very good snap down by Nick Rodriguez. Muhammad Ali's hands touch the mat. That is not good. But what he's, what he's doing is he's getting his chest out in front of his knees now. You can see Muhammad Ali's feet are getting planted a little bit. That snap down starting yeah, to Yeah, he bring gets his, those yeah. weight on the heels. Yeah, yeah. And that's the, uh, that's the trigger to go for that double leg, yeah. right? Yes. You gotta watch the snap down to the front head and arm. What do you think about that finger tie up that they're using there, Sean? I can't stand it, to be honest, but it's so common in our sport. You gotta know what to do from there because guys can get really good with that position. They get in on the wrist and it's annoying if you're not used to it. And you gotta be ready to, to attack and defend off of it. It's very common. Still 0-0, zero, zero. two minutes 30 remaining in this uh, match. Snap down the front head and arm. And well countered by Muhammad Ali that time, but you can see the effect of these snap downs. Oh, low single there. Got the leg, picking it up. And that's a beautiful defense by Muhammad Ali. Right sure, now. these guys, they need a bigger mat. <laughs> that's the only thing I can think. They I need a bigger mat. Definitely need like two. I'm not mats. sure a mat this size is enough to contain these two. Yeah. But the, the, the shot, the speed of that shot that Nick Rodriguez got in on the leg. Yeah. And we hear the guys behind us saying to Muhammad to stay low because yeah. they're aware that that takedown yeah. is, and that, is that, an ever-present threat. That's right, and that's what that work on the neck does early is it, it wears out your lower back so you can't stay low. It just You just get too tired to stay low and you just have to start standing up. See the, the head position, forehead to forehead. <clears throat> Just trying to keep neutral. Each guy would love to drift off to the side a little bit and cut it, get a little bit of an angle. Yeah, now that's interesting. Muhammad himself level changing, yeah, yeah. kind of signaling to Nick that it's okay, you want to wrestle. Nick matching it, but. We still haven't really seen any significant takedown attempts from Muhammad, though. Not, Muhammad's not going forward. Yeah. He's not looking to shoot. He's not looking to tie up. And we got 40 seconds left in this match. But if it remains 0-0, zero, zero, then we're going to go to overtime. Yeah, that's and right. And that's when it's going to be crucial. That's right. So it could be a strategic move on Muhammad's part. Yeah. But he's he's going to need to get a little bit more active, though, because because right now, I would say if if you if, if the, the overtime goes like this, he's going to lose a decision. There's a beautiful Run snap headlock. down again. Head to head once again. A 
another snap down. There's a shot. There's shot here shot. from Body Look. Are walk. we going to see the throw? No, yeah. Nick backs out. Yeah. All right, so no real break here. Straight back in for overtime. Another five minutes. And a productive shot there by Muhammad Ali that actually put Nick's hips on the mat. May give him a little confidence as they move into overtime. I think the story of this match, Sean, as well, is, is, is not just these, these takedown attempts that we're seeing, but it's this, it's this feeling out process that they're both having difficulty in finding that opening that they want. Yeah, yeah. They're both having difficulty in getting past that initial defense of the, the wrestling tie-ups, the posture. The moment, that, of course, that they see that chink in the armor, it's when we're seeing these incredible exchanges, the takedown scrambles and so on, but... It's actually proving quite hard for each man to yeah, find that. Opening. It really is. Again, big collar tie there for Rodriguez. You can see Nick with inside position on that collar tie, but the other hand, of course. I mean to have the him from Ender, yeah, and to have that kind of judo ability is in on his underhooks. To have that kind of judo ability is a real can really nullify good wrestling, and it, and it makes it I think it can make people gun shy a little bit. Like I like the snap downs are doing well, I like the arm drag attempt, but it's getting slippery now. Muhammad Ali really getting putting a lot of good forward pressure now. Little inside foot trip attempt right there, but right on the edge of bounds. They're literally clubbing each other in the back of the <laughs> yes, head there. Yes, they are. Like rock 'em sock 'em. <laughs> Halfway through now, the overtime. Spilling over onto mat number two there. I really hope they don't come in this direction, Sean. I gotta say, if they do, I'm a blast of a leg right towards us. Uh, there's another snap down, but slip on the mat. There's a I'll tell you, both guys are going to need a little break after this one, that's for sure. Yeah. A lot of pushing. Two big boys here pushing each other around. Well, it's interesting you mentioned that, Sean, because this is why they're running the heavier weight divisions at the beginning of the day, because they are they're cognizant of the fact that nice sweep single attempt there from yeah. Rodriguez, little kick out from Ali. But they're giving these guys a l more rest by putting them in the earlier in the day. Yeah. So they were going to run through the heavier weight divisions down through the lowest. And then we're going to repeat that with the quarterfinals. And then the heavier weights will go early tomorrow as well. That's because these guys, they're more likely to want to oh, do the absolute man. later yeah. in the Sunday. So Absolutely. Minute and a half. Rodrigo starting to pick up the pace now. A little over a minute left now. Starting to really pick up the pace. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Back onto the photographers once again. Out of bounds. Oh, man. That, again. I don't know what it is about that specific <laughs> that spot. spot right there, but that's like the third time they've gone out that way. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice little foot sweep there near the out of bounds. Muhammad Ali hit. Rodriguez, got to be careful. Overcoming in that drive. But he's, he's getting busier. Want less than a minute left now. Both guys pushing, trying to find an opening. 
Snap down again, looking for the front head and arm. Man, the exhaustion is really playing a factor Absolutely. here. Absolutely. You can see the posture starting to go. They're getting a little bit more sloppy, loose. There's a nice Take time shot. Time. Oh, thought we were going to see somebody fly. Yeah. <laughs> see the hips turn in. Uh, Ali looking for the Uchigar. You could see it. He's trying to turn those hips in for the inside trip again, but Rodriguez not staying in there too long. Just coming up now, 20 seconds remaining again if there is no score. Wow. Who you get it? Who do you give it to, Sean? Oh, take down oh, oh, oh. Almost gets the lease together. What are Man. they gonna do with that? Well they can't give it they can't they give can't it give to him. Because they, they are out of bounds and you know they they're going to restart it in the same position yeah, with eight seconds left I, and given the opportunity to try and push him down. But I, I don't think they can. I mean, you, you take away momentum and movement. I think that that's... They are. They're going to put wow. it back down in the same position. Yeah. So Mohamed's going to have eight seconds to try and get Rodriguez's shoulders on the mat. A takedown does not score in ADCC rules unless you put the shoulders flat on the mat for three seconds. Yeah. And Nick is up. Yeah. Look and, at that. Straight and I, off the restart. And I think that would have happened out of bounds anyway. I don't, oh, beautiful high crotch. Oh, the crowd are on their feet, and that's Whoa, time. Whoa. Be beautiful high what crotch fireman finish. carry. Now, they say, Sean, oh like it in the day, the last thing that the judges see in a fight is what they remember the most. Yeah. Now, Rodriguez, could he have stolen it with that late takedown attempt? Very possible. It's not. Not only was it a late takedown, it was a dynamic takedown, and it, it could have made beautiful a beautiful timing. Beautiful, on that. yeah. <laughs> oh absolutely. my word! I mean, that actually that had the crowd on their feet. Yeah. Everybody was suddenly standing after that. So, ADCC rules. The judges and the center referee will confer and they will discuss what they, uh, what they think the result will be. That's a close. Man, now who do you give that? You, that's it. We're going to get the official decision. Oh, Nick Rodriguez with the upset defeats Muhammad Ali by decision in the opening round and is going to go through in the over 99 kilogram division. What a result. Sean, this is why I love ABCC. <laughs> Man.